Well, the goaltending uh, that we've had has been um, really solid. So that's uh, the first and foremost. Um, you know, and, and we've we've done a pretty good job at taking away time and space and uh, trying to clog up the, the middle of the ice, force them to the outsides. Um, you know, that like I, we touched on earlier, they're, they're good players. They're going to get chances. Um, you know, I expect them to come out hard tonight, so we're going to have to be ready. Um, as far as the challenge tonight, I, yeah, same thing. We got to stick with it. We can't get, um, you know, we, we got to stay our, our path. We got to play our game, focus on, on what we're doing. Um, that's given us success. We got to continue with it. Next up, we'll go to Chris Johnson, Sportsnet. Go ahead, Chris. Hey, Jake, with, with the, the team defense these last two games, do, do you think that – is that the best you've seen in your time in Toronto, or, or how do you kind of view the you know what we've seen here these last two? Yeah, it's it's, it's been solid. Um, but I, I think we've been defending too much. Um, I think we need to be cleaner with our breakouts and um, with our exits. And, you know, we, we've done a good job defending. I think we, we just, we've just done it too much. So um, – it's been nice though. We've, we've had five guys and a goaltender all committed um, doing the right things in our zone. Um, we just like to do it less. And the last one here, we'll go back to Mark Masters. Go ahead, Mark. Jake, just following up on that, when you, when you guys get Austin back, and we're, we're not sure if it's tonight, but moving forward here, how would you describe the boost? I know it's only been two games, but with everything he does and has done this season, what does that do for the group? Yeah, it's nice um, when you get a guy like that coming back into the lineup. It's, you know, there's not many guys like Austin in the league. So, um, you know, we're, we're lucky to have him. And, and when, when you get him back, it's obviously a boost to our lineup, uh, brings energy. Obviously, he's, you know, he can score goals and, and he's, a, he's, a, he's been a really solid two-way center for us. So he's, uh, he's a big piece to our club. And whenever he comes back, we'll, we'll be welcoming him with open arms. Hey, Pierre, I uh, just wanted to be talking about the line you're on right now and why do you think it's having uh, the success it's had? Uh, I think we're, I mean, we're skating a lot and I think we're uh, backing each other up. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's good to play with Mickey because he skates onto the puck and uh, wins a lot of battles. And I think Himes do the same. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think obviously the skating is the, the biggest thing. And uh, a quick follow-up, uh, how's uh, Ilya's English coming along? It's getting better and better, I think. Uh, I mean, I think it, like, if you compare it to last year, it's gotten a lot better. Next up, we'll go to Mark Masters, TSN. Go ahead, Mark. Pierre, what has the team done well to keep Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl, the Oilers' offense in check these last two games? Um, yeah, I think we've been staying above all the time, so... Uh, when we lose the puck, we we work really hard to get back uh, to not give them something, and um, um, yeah, I think like um, like I said in the beginning, like we're skating a lot, so I think um, that too, and also being physical. Not so much with the two guys coming in, uh, you know. I, obviously, they make us a better team, so that's nothing but positive. But uh, just the fact that you know we've been through two games here, and and. You know, virtually everything's gone our way uh, to this point. Uh, you know, Edmonton is going to make a bunch of changes to their lineup and their lines and stuff like that here tonight. And uh, they're looking to get uh, a spark, and we certainly expect that they that they would. And uh, we, we've got to be, you know, we've got to continue to be focused and dialed in on all our details. And, you know, we, we had another meeting this morning, just looking to clean things up. I mean, we're not, uh, we're not here you know, getting comfortable with how we're playing or anything like that. We're continuing to work to get better as a team. There was a lot of things that we didn't like in the last game. And uh, we're expecting us to be better in, in those areas here today, no matter who's in the lineup. Next up, we'll go to Josh Clipperton, Canadian Press. Go ahead, Josh. Hey, Sheldon, it's kind of hard to believe, but you're going to be four games short of the midway point of the schedule uh, after tonight. I'm just wondering, generally, if there's anything about your team or the season in general that, that up to this point that you weren't expecting. I wouldn't say that. I mean, I don't say there's anything I wasn't expecting. I had high expectations for our team and uh, high expectations of the individuals. And I think, you know, the guys have delivered on that. 
Uh, so, you know, I think we're, we're happy with how things have gone here, but we also recognize as much as things go quickly and you're, you're approaching the midway point here, there's lots of hockey left to be played and we've got to continue to grow as a group. We're, we're not where, you know, we're not where, where we think we can be as a team. We think we, we can uh, continue to, to grow.